Okay guys, a modification for our science experiment with the baking soda and vinegar is getting a sheet of paper and then you can put whatever colors you want on your sheet of paper and your child can help you pick out the colors, help identifying the colors, whatever they want to do. But if you just put them in little sections like this, and then um, you just need some water. It doesn't have to be in a measuring cup. It can just be in a bowl and a spoon or a dropper that you squeeze will work too. Um, you can ask them the same questions that we asked in the experiment. So for red, we talked about hearts and asking them questions about what color is a heart usually um, and have some conversation with them. And then with your spoon, you just take the water and you put it over top of the marker and then you can watch it expand and grow if it grows over into another color and starts mixing then you can talk about what color it's mixing with if it makes a new color and you can do this over top um you can lay this on a cookie sheet as well so it's not like soaking all the way through and we'll just do it with another one if you have paint brushes you can use paint brushes at home as well with this and have them paint with all of the colors. Here's yellow. And then do you see how they mix together? You can kind of see how they're mixing together right there. And then same for green. So if you don't have baking soda, if you don't have vinegar, this is a good modification in a different way to get the same concept. And you can talk about the similarities and the differences that they have on our science experiment um, video. And you can talk about how it's different and the same.